Duncan's Boats and today we're on a Trophy 22cc going to take a look at the Mercury Vessel View. Now this particular one does have the 9 inch screen and as it's starting up we're going to see this is actually on a Simrad GPS. Uh, as with all these new GPS's they are a computer so it does take a little bit of time to load up. Now once it does load up, uh, first thing we're going to get is this warning screen. Do not rely on this pro product for primary source navigation. That's just a reminder to always keep your eyes and ears out there on the water. Next we're going to see with any uh, new GPS, it's going to have a connect your phone uh, to the mobile app. This mobile app is pretty cool. It allows you to actually set your your uh, routes and stuff like that before you head out in the water so then you can just slide them right over to your GPS. Now getting into the screen, Simrad, this is our main screen and Simrad has it set up just similar to your smartphone with a bunch of icons. Uh, I'm going to show you the main stuff that uh, we like to use and uh, we'll typically find it you spend most of your time in. First is the Mercury engine data. Now, I don't have the engine on, so we're not seeing RPMs and all that good stuff. Uh, but here, nice, clean layout, almost automotive-like with their RPMs, miles per hour, fuel, volts, trim. Uh, and you're always going to have your depth over here on the right. One thing that you will see when the engine is actually turned on is right here is an engine OK with the green check mark. If it's not that, make sure to give your local dealer a call so we can get it all um, something addressed there on the engine. Uh, this little green mercury uh, tab here on the left hand side, this is going to show us a little bit more information if we click that and then click more. Uh, now we can see coolant temp, oil pressures, uh, stuff like that. Uh, if we click on maintenance, this is where you're going to find your engine hours. You can see we have a half an hour here on this engine. Even a nice little uh, blue bar maintenance uh, engine light too as well. Going back to the main screen, next thing we're going to look at is our echo, our sonar. Uh, now, because we're not down in the water, we get these weird squiggly lines, but uh, that'll show you your fish and, and, and structure and stuff down there below. Uh, you got water temp. Clearly, it's uh, 94 degrees out here today. Going back to the main screen, the last thing we're going to look at is our charts. Uh, and here in our charts, they, Simran has a good uh, chart set up here. As we zoom in a little bit more, we're going to see contours of depths and stuff like that, including your marinas and everything out there in the water. Uh, to the right hand side, we do have our depth, uh, you know, your, your speed, uh, your actual heading, and here's your coordinates down here. One thing I like to do when I'm uh, out there in the water just driving the boat is I like to click again on this uh, green mercury tab on the left that way I have some basic engine data too as well all on one screen uh, that being our RPMs or fuel miles per hour stuff like that now if I go back to the main screen uh, something I like to point out here on the right hand side is now we can do multi display so we can do GPS and uh, fish finding capabilities if we're trying to locate a deep hole or something like that and you can actually set up multiple other displays here uh, the last thing I'll show you is how to do basic uh, guidance routes uh, up here on the top left hand side you'll see what's called waypoints if we go ahead and click on that uh, you got waypoints routes and tracks uh, tracks you can turn off and on to save and not to save, but that's where you've taken the boat out on the water for the day. Uh, waypoints are there for you if you want to mark uh, a spot you want to go to, Shem Creek, or you have a nice uh, fishing hole, stuff like that, you can save that exact location. Uh, and then lastly is routes. Uh, you can create new routes, and pretty much you'll just go through and dot uh, dot waypoints there to, to mark a route you know if you're going out to somewhere um, that you might not know exactly how to get to but that way you have some type of guidance now I've already typed in a route here from our location here at Leeds Avenue to uh, Shem Creek 
And if I click on that location, you can see my waypoints and, and the name, Shem Creek. Uh, but then down here, uh, bottom center here, we have the start button. Now, since we're heading from here to Shem Creek, we're going to go in forward. And now that'll populate here on our chart screen. And now all of a sudden we can see here waypoints routed uh, that are going to take us all the way over here to Shem Creek that I've already marked. Uh, it's a good way to get some basic guidance and stuff out there in the water for you. Uh, so that's a good basic overview of the Mercury Vessel View. This is Logan here with Duncan's Boats. Uh, thanks for watching and have fun out in the water.